In this tip of the day, let's take a look at reducing machining time using Sandvik Prime Tools. I'm going to start by heading over to the Command Manager. Let's select our lathe toolpaths and let's perform a roughing operation. I'm going to select the geometry that I'd like to apply the toolpath to. That looks good. And let's quickly head into the 1CNC tool library. Now you can see that 1CNC supports both the A' prime and B' prime type of inserts. Now B' prime inserts are primarily used for heavy cuts, whereas the A' prime insert is used for medium to light cuts. It should also be noted that using Sandvik Prime Tools is very advantageous in that you can cut in multiple directions. I'm going to be using the A' prime insert. We'll click OK to that. Let's put this in turret position number one. That looks good. All this looks great. I'm going to start 50 thousandths in front of the part in X and Z. That looks fine. And notice because I'm using a prime tool, I can really cut in any direction I'd like. In this example, we're going to be cutting from left to right. That looks good. All this looks fine. I also want to point out that I'm using arc entry. This is a fantastic way to always make the approach tangential to the part geometry. I'm going to definitely be doing that. That looks great. Let's click finish. All this looks good. That looks great. Now let's head into our preview toolpath to see exactly what's happening here. Let's go to preview toolpath. And I'm going to slow this down just a little bit, but you can see that one CNC begins each depth of cut with a nice tangential arc move. And then that's going to repeat itself for each pass. Let's speed this up now. So each pass begins with an arc entry, which is always going to be tangent. And we're removing the material from left to right. So one CNC provides the ability to use Sandvik Prime Tools, both the A and B type inserts, to reduce machining time. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.